tired of Windows and Mac. Looking for a beginner friendly Linux distro. This video pits two of the most popular choices, Linux Mint and CatchOS, against each other in a head to head battle to see which one truly resigns supreme for new users. Switching to Linux can be daunting, especially if you are a complete newbie. But what if there was an easier way? In this video, we break down the user friendliness of Linux Mint and CatchOS, helping you choose the perfect distro for your first Linux experience. They are both known for their beginner friendly interfaces and smooth learning curves. But which Linux distribution truly offers the best user experience? Join us as we dive into the world of Mint and CatchOS to find out which one comes out on top. Let's start with the introduction, the beginner's Linux dilemma. Why choose Linux? Because it's open source, endlessly customizable, and more secure than most mainstream operating systems. Today, we are comparing two distros built with beginners in mind. Linux Mint, the community developed Ubuntu derivative that has dominated the desktop space since 2006. And CatchUS, a polished Arch based contender launched in 2024 with one goal to bring an easy out of the box Arch experience to everyone. Now, installation showdown. Getting started. First, the live environments. Both distros offers live ISOs, so you can test drive without touching your hard drive. Mint boots straight into Cinnamon by default. While CatchOS lets you choose KDE Plasma or GNOME and even XFCE and more right from the live menu. Now installation process. Linux Mint's installer is wizard style and familiar if you are ever installed Ubuntu. CatchOS uses its own GUI installer, guiding you through partitioning with clear, beginner-friendly prompts. Now, post-installation experience. Mint welcomes you with its custom Mint tools and multimedia codecs pre-installed, so you can play media immediately. CatchOS boots to a sleek desktop with performance tweaks already applied, plus its custom catchy browser and hardware detection tool for a very free start. Now, desktop experience, the everyday use. Let's first start with the user interface. Mint's Cinnamon desktop environment is initiative with a familiar taskbar and start menu layout. CatchOS defaults to KDE Plasma, offering modern effects, widgets, and deep customization, though it also supports GNOME, XFC, Cinnamon, and more. Now, Essential Software Mint ships with Firefox, LibreOffice, VLC, and its own update manager. CatchOS includes Firefox based Catchy Browser, Steam, Wine Tweaks, and Game Mode tools, making it especially ready for gaming. Now, Performance benchmarks. On identical hardware, both run web browsing and video playback smoothly. Catchy OS optimized kernel can edge out Mint in launch times. But Mint remains impressively responsive for daily tasks. Now, customizability. Taking control. Let's first start with the package management. Mint uses APT with a software manager GUI. CatchOS uses Pacman plus YAY or AUR helpers. Once you are comfortable, this unlocks vast community packages. Now, desktop tweaks. Cinnamon's themes and applets are just a click away in Mint settings. KDE's system settings lets you fine tune every visual element. If you love tinkering, you'll feel at home. Now, community and support. Mint boosts forums with over a decade of community Q&A. CatchUS forum is young but active 
and ArchWiki compatibility means you get the benefits of Arch's massive documentation. Now finally, the conclusion. The verdict for beginners. In summary, Linux Mint excels at it just works with minimal setup. Perfect for Windows to Linux features. CatchOS offers a thrill for those who might want to learn as tools later. With performance boost and gaming extras. If you crave stability and simplicity, start with Mint. If you are curious about rolling release power under an easy installer, give CatchOS a try. Either way, you can't go wrong. So download both. Live boot them today and find your perfect fit. Don't forget to share your experience in the comments and subscribe for more Linux insights. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.